Ron Harris here from MuscleDevelopment.com. Coverage of the 2021 Indy Pro wrapping up here. Brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. So, how did it all happen? How did it all go down here in Indianapolis, Indiana for the Indy Pro? We'll start with the 212 division. I see I'm holding the wrong sheet. 212 division, big, big shocker. Uh, nobody saw this guy winning. Uh, his name was Tony O'Burton. He's from Reno, Nevada. Turned pro back at the 2018 USA Championships as a light heavy. Was supposed to make his pro debut last year at New York Pro. Uh, due to COVID, it didn't end up happening. He didn't end up doing that show. But, man, they, he, he pulled off a win against guys like, uh, geez, John Jewett, Noel Adame, uh, Justin Randall, Derek Oslin, some guys who've done a few shows who've done very, very well. Guys who've won shows. But let's, uh, let's start off with the guys who did not make top five. Uh, Justin Randall from Rhode Island looked really good. Thomas Lenahan, Derek Oslin, Weapon X Pro and Samir Trudy, both of whom I wanted to do, I wanted to see do very well today, but condition just wasn't there. So let's get into the top five. Noel Adame in fifth place, originally from Mexico, now living in Texas. Man, Noel packs so much muscle. Uh, he doesn't have the daintiest waist. He doesn't have a blocky waist, but he is a shorter guy who packs a lot of dense muscle mass on his body. Condition was right on. I certainly would have had him a little bit higher if I was a judge, and I was not. I'm just a media guy. I'm just a reporter. Fourth place, Brian Balzano from Columbus, Ohio, in his pro debut. Very symmetrical, complete, nice shape and structure on him. Condition was bang on. Glutes were just carved out. Fourth place, that was him. Third place was John Jewett. Uh, I would have had John a little higher. Uh, I, I honestly could have seen him winning. I, I, I had him as the winner, but that's me. Uh, I love John's physique. I think he's got beautiful shape and symmetry. Condition was bang on, just deep, deep cuts and separations, but not today for John. Nathan Epler in second, pro debut, local guy from Indiana. Crazy, crazy shape. I mean, he reminds me in some shots of Bumstead. His front double bicep is really, really pretty shot for him. Uh, front lat spread, back shots are great. Uh, and, you know, for him to come out of nowhere, making a pro debut and do that well, hats off to him. And, of course, the winner... Tony O'Burton, who we just talked about. A lot of thick muscle on this guy, little waist, beautiful shape. I would have liked to see the condition a little better, but I'm sure he's gonna fix that. Uh, we just did an interview backstage. He will not be competing. We're talking about Blessing in a minute. That was my hand, sorry. Blessing, um, Blessing. Tony will not be competing uh, until close to Olympia. He's already qualified. He's gonna do another show close to it just to get another show under the belt, but we'll probably, we'll definitely see Tony O'Burton at the Olympia. Uh, in uh, December, October. When is it? October. It was Camilo. So let's get into the open. Open. Uh, we had really good lineup. Guys who did not make the top five were who were really good. Morgan Ass from France. Huge, awesome condition. Uh, who else didn't make? Dwayne Walker. Again, Dwayne's going to be going far. He just needs to bring the legs up. But he's got incredible front double bicep, incredible front lat spread. Beautiful upper body. Just need to bring the legs up a little bit, and he's going to be right there. So let's get into top five. Fifth place went to Carlos Chapa. Uh, wasn't really aware of him. From Pasadena, Texas. Good size, shape, structure, symmetry. Condition was great. Uh, I think we're going to be hearing more from Carlos Chapa for sure. Because, again, it doesn't, it doesn't take a, a huge social media following or anything. If you have a great physique and you do well, people start noticing you. Fourth place, Doreen Haywood from Colorado. Doreen was big and full. Uh, I did hear some knocks. Controlling his midsection is kind of an issue. He needs to, needs to pay a little more attention to doing that. Uh, condition could be a little bit crisper, but a lot of thick, round, full muscle. Yeah, uh, an entertaining poser as well. He has a lot of fun up there on stage. Third place, Blessing Awobidu in his pro debut. Blessing looked pretty good, upper body, legs need work. I just think he needs to come in fuller. I think he might have over-dieted, under-carbed, I don't know, but uh, I think he's capable of a lot more than this. Still has a ton of potential. We're definitely gonna be hearing more from Blessing. Uh, yeah, someone says, can't believe John took third and 212. Yeah, I had him in the win. So, uh, Blessing, pro debut, third place, not too shabby. Of course, people were expecting him to win his pro debut, and. Anything less than that was going to disappoint a lot of people. It's just the way it is when you're, when you're very popular and you have a huge following. People expect a lot of you. Second place from Russia, Mohammed El Amam. Uh, I was barely aware of this guy before. I, 
I knew who he was, but I, he wasn't really on my radar. But man, today he brought it. Thick, full, great condition. He really pushed Justin Rodriguez for the win. I'd be, I'd, I'd be surprised uh, if the score sheets didn't show. It was only a couple points difference between them. And of course, Justin the Nightmare Rodriguez wins his pro debut. Uh, I'm sorry, pro debut. <laughs> It wasn't his pro debut, he's done a lot of pro shows. His first pro win after uh, his fourth season as a pro, I believe he didn't even know how many shows he's done. I wanna say it's probably about 20 to 25 pro shows he's done already. First win, finally pulled it off, punched his ticket to Olympia. Uh, we're a warm up for these guys anyway. Eh, Paul was rooting for the Russian guy. So uh, congratulations to Justin Rodriguez, your new indie pro champion, his first pro win. Uh, he will be doing New York next weekend because he's a New York guy, and that's, that's like their Olympia. They, they all want to win the New York Pro. Then he's going to shut it down to the Olympia, but congratulations, Justin. He looked awesome. Congratulations to Tonio. To, for Tonio to come out of nowhere as a no-name, as a quote-unquote nobody, and beat some of these guys, it was a pretty, pretty good accomplishment for him. I think Blessing can keep getting fuller the next few weeks. Yeah, I think he will. I think he'll, I think he'll fill out a little bit more. I do think he needs to uh, shut it down after this month go back to the drawing board. He's got a lot more potential than what we saw today. I know he does. Uh, he'll be doing New York Pro, and he'll be doing the Cali Pro, and then he'll probably shut it down for a little while. But that's it, guys. It was a really good opener for the 2021 Open Bodybuilding 212 Bodybuilding season. So uh, I also want to encourage you guys to go check out our contest gallery on musculardevelopment.com. We had all the professional shots. We also had a play-by-play -play thread on the Noble Forum, musculardevelopment.com all kinds of great pictures from my little iPhone here. I was taking all the comparison shots, but we also have all the, all the professional shots by Hector Mendoza, fully loaded up and ready to look at in the contest gallery. So check that out. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.